Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you tips to create better logos in GIMP. Now one of the most important things is creating the canvas, which is setting up our design space. So I go up to File, New, and we want to make sure that our design space is big enough for our ideas. So I think that 800 by 800 pixels offers a really good base width and height for designing logos. You can go higher than that, just make sure that you're not getting too big because file size can become an issue. And I also go to advanced options and make sure the resolution is 300 by 300. I think this is a great base resolution. It's better than I think the default 72, which is very, very low. So make sure that it is 300 by 300 or higher. And remember higher equals bigger file size. So just keep that in mind. Now color scheme, design and text are like the three fundamental things of designing a logo. Now I designed this quick logo just to show you how these three things go together. Now I have a simple shape, I have a simple color scheme, and I also have easy to read text. Now this is very important when designing a logo. You don't want something completely cluttered and you want something that's easy to read. Now, if you're designing in Adobe Illustrator or your client has requested something that's scalable, you want to make sure that the font is easy to read at many, many sizes. So choosing a font that is easy to read and has good kerning on the letters, which is the spacing in between the letters, so they don't merge together if it's going smaller. Now, to pick your color scheme, there's this handy tool that Adobe has given us that I will link which is a color wheel and it has many many different options here are the different options that you can choose i usually do complementary to start and if you drag this it will show you a color on one side of the spectrum and then the one that matches on the other and what's really handy is it gives you the html code so for this logo black goes with basically any color so i chose red and black and also white to highlight the text inside the shape. You want to make sure that your text is um, visible, so you want to make sure the color stands out from the color of the background of the design. Now this is what you shouldn't do. <laughs> Here I tried to pick the most atrocious colors to show you that sometimes people design pretty bad logos. I've seen some pretty bad designs um, where people just did not take the time to look at what colors work with each other or what designs are in and things like that. So you can see a lot of stuff is going on right now. And with a logo, you want it to be clear to read because people look at a logo for a split second sometimes to get the brand of what they're buying or um, what business they are looking into. Now you can see the font is extremely hard to read and a really, really bad color from the background. Um, it just it just doesn't look right and there's a lot going on that's distracting from the text as well as the text itself it's extremely hard to read so you want to make sure you avoid things like this you want to make sure you research your colors you want to make sure you research your shape and make sure the shape does not distract from the text if there's text in your logo and also that the text does not distract from the design of the logo because some logos are just images and some logos are just text. So here what we would fix is we would make sure we would change the font, we would change the color scheme, and make it a lot more friendly to look at. So how do we export this logo to make it market ready? First of all, we want to click this eye to make it a transparent background to fit on a ton of different uh, websites and mediums. And we go want to go up to File, Export As, and I'm just gonna name this Slice. And usually you want your logos to be exported in PNG because that preserves the transparent background. So I'm gonna click OK. And you don't really need to mess with any of these and click Export. And that's how you export your logo. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.